it over here though, because I think it's our friends from yesterday. We'll just stop here for now. Sorry, um, Fergus. I don't know which lines they are yet. Let me try and count. One, two, three. Got three lines so far. Four. Another one's just appeared. Now, Christina, you're wondering about uh, GPS tracking devices and animals, like you would sort of put in your uh, dogs and cats. So not microchips in that sense. Um, they have got proper tracking collars, and we've seen them on the lions. We've seen them on the cheetah. I don't know if there's any leopard. Wee! <laughs> that one just got mowed over. My sibling. That was quite funny. Um, so they definitely are. And there's some hyenas too. I saw a hyena with a collar on. Oh, what are you carrying? What leg do you have there? So they've obviously gobbled up something at some point. Perhaps it belongs to a wildebeest. Perhaps it belongs to a warthog or one of those buffalo. That are just standing at the back. Um, so, yeah, so it's all for research purposes, of course. Uh, so you don't actually see too many of them around. Normally, once they've uh, completed their study, they'll actually take the collars off completely. Now, we are quite far away from these from these lions. I think it, might, it could be the Angamas. It could be the Olololo females. Um, it's hard to tell from here. I'm just seeing a couple of cubs. I haven't really, and I've seen two adults so far. Let me try and count again because I can see some more movement. Let me try. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You can see eleven so far. So perhaps it is the Angamas and not the Ololololololo females, which is quite nice because I've been wondering where they were. They weren't here yesterday because we came and we checked extensively around this area before we uh, were told about the male lion sighting. Um, so, so that's good news. And they come and go. I mean, the other night it was so interesting. Uh, Brent, we were doing our night shifts, and Brent had been with the Ingamas, and I maybe was an hour and a bit behind him. By the time I got to where the Ingamas were, it was just the cubs left, and the adults had gone and killed an impala. So how amazing is that? It was just in that short space of time, the whole sighting had changed. Uh, it doesn't look like these. Cats are too keen on those buffalo that we've seen them being chased by big herds of buffalo uh, on a number of different occasions. So I think they're going to watch themselves. But it'd be nice to try and figure out what on earth they have eaten. Maybe they did. Maybe they caught a weak buffalo towards uh, the end of the herd, uh, and maybe they were able to, you know, escape across the lugger very quickly. We know that that's their favourite way of of of, es of escaping um, the horns and the hooves of the buffalo. But I'm glad that they got a little meal of, of some sort. They don't look thin. I have yet to really see a thin lion in the Mara. But um, maybe that will happen now that most of the migration has moved off. And oh, it doesn't know if it's going to come back. Because there's been rain everywhere. But the grass is looking lovely and appetizing the side. So who knows? We don't really know what could happen. Lots of things could definitely change. But this is nice. And it's a nice day. The wind was howling the whole of last night. It's just started to drop, which is great. So we're in for a very hot day. A hot, clear, clearish day. It's quite hazy. Ferg and I were joking. We were saying we thought we came to the Mara Triangle, not Hazy View, in Mpumalanga in South Africa. Ha, 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 ha. That's a small town, by the way. There they are, all playing. Now, dear, what you've said that the other animals are so close. Yeah, it's the buffalo, and there's elephants in the background. Um, like I said, it, this happens actually all the time. You'll see lions in close proximity to other animals, uh, and that's quite normal. It does, like I said, it doesn't look like they're hunting them right now. And if anything, uh, maybe they've got the lugger between them and the buffalo. Oh, there's a big male lion too. So the boys are maybe here, just to the left of this uh, shepherd's shepherd's tree. He was just walking um, across. Yeah, you have. There we go. There he is. Hello, lion. Is it our friend, tail, the tailless um, uh, Kichwa boy? Now I find this quite funny because if it is him, he's not tailless. Let's be honest. He's basically missing maybe a quarter of his tail. So I think um, tailless is a strong word to just try and describe uh, this lion, and I can see why it could probably cause much confusion. Um, maybe maybe it's not him at all, but I just noticed that he was missing the black tufts of his hair. Oh, and there we go. A young lion going up to a beautiful big male. He's probably going, one day I want to be like you. 
And it's amazing how fascinated young lions are with big males. And he's been quite affectionate. Look at that. And he's actually tolerating that youngster, which is very nice to see. Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> not tolerating too many trying to jump on his back. And it is. It is our friend, um, the short-tailed male lion. He's going to pop around from the other side of the tree now. Like I said, I'm just going to hold my ground over here for the moment. It's a big tree, hey, Ferg? It's not a small one. <laughs> They're going to walk out now towards the... Turn my mind, there they come. Well, that's nice. So I wonder if the other two boys are around. Perhaps they are. Um, it would also maybe explain why I didn't hear so much roaring. Maybe they didn't need to because they found the pride. That's one thing that they'll do. Not only proclaim territories by using their voice, but of course to try and locate uh, their females that they are constantly looking after. He's a very impressive lion, though, don't you think? Careful. Just, he's going, I've had enough of you youngsters. Yes, you settle down. <laughs> and it only takes one... So I, you'd think the others would have learnt and watched, but they just can't help themselves. They cannot resist young, young lions following a majestic male. That's quite nice. You've got three of the big five in one sighting. How incredible is that? Lion... Not, I almost said leopard. Lion, buffalo, and elephant. Very cool. Careful, youngsters. Don't get too close. Oh, very sweet. So we're going to move around and see if we can get a better position. Uh, it seems as though Brent has got some teeny tiny little cubs getting a wash.